Hey everyone, so I'm going to redo my Toronto video because Blizzard was nice enough to change it, a lot of things about her, so I'm just gonna go over everything again for you guys and get this updated, so. Not a, not a lot changed, but there are definitely some changes to notice, so. Let's look at level 1 talent. So Ranger Mark's still gonna be the go-to. They changed the W that used to be on level 4 to level 1. So, since Healing Ward and Protective Shield are so strong at level 4, this isn't even, like, the Owl build is just not even viable anymore at all. So you're going to be seeing, you're going to be seeing Ranger's Mark, like, almost 100% of the time now, I would suspect. So, this is, this is, a, it's okay, but it's not really needed, honestly. She doesn't really have a huge mana problem, especially late game, so... I would stick with Ranger's Mark like almost every game now. I don't really see the point of anything else. Auto attack Toronto is not a thing. Don't try to make it a thing. So she's still a good support with CC, and she's a lot stronger early. Oh, I should probably talk about the. Let me talk about what they changed really quick on her abilities. Okay, so her stun now has a twenty percent extra radius compared to the old stun, and her heal actually heals a lot more now. So. Those are the two big changes to her, so she actually heals a lot more, and her stun is a lot easier to land without the talent. Later on, though, I'll go into I'll go into it when I get there. So level four, like I said, pierces at level four now instead of level one, so it's just not even going to be worried. You're never going to want to get this. Auto attack is trash, so don't even worry about these. Protective shield and healing ward are the two things you're going to get. Healing ward was changed to two percent for fifteen seconds instead of. It used to be 3% for 10 seconds, so it is a nerf, but Healing Ward's still a Healing Ward. It's still going to do what it does, right? It's still strong, super strong. If you need AoE healing, get this. Maybe now, instead of getting two Healing Wards, you might think about getting Protective Shield. If you need, like, a shield, if you don't have a Tasker on your team, maybe. Or you don't have an Uther. Well, if you have an Uther, you'd get Healing Ward. But anyway, Protective Shield is, is has always been viable on her if you don't need the Healing Ward. So, this Healing Ward and Protective Shield are the only two things you'd ever get in this talent. So level 7, now there's a lot of options in this tree now, right? This is, this used to be the level 13 talent, but they took off the 33% extra range, uh, extra radius on it, so now after you get this talent, it isn't as good, it's, um, let me do math really quick, it's 13% less radius, but you can get it at level 7 instead of 13, so it's kind of like a, it's a big trade. Um, like, honestly, compared to 25% move speed or battle momentum, I still haven't tested it enough to know if it's viable viable enough to take it, because you're, you're only getting range on your arrow, but I still think it's quite good, honestly. So, I, I, I've been, I end up taking this most of the time, but battle momentum is still very viable, and, and mule, obviously, on maps that you need mule is going to be very viable, so. These three are... Honestly, even even uh, quickening blessing is is a decent spell. Like if you need, if you really need the move speed, like even now with like with Uther comps, now that he's lost sprint, this is a lot. This is really viable with him as well. So you need to think about if you need to help people engage or help them escape. It's really something that you might want to uh, look into and test out. But I I still see people will probably be getting lunar blaze honestly most of the time. So this this talent, I really like how this talent tree is really your choice to make you can get whatever you need like map specific or comp specific which is really nice now level 10 uh starfall i don't think they changed starfall i heard that this like it cloaks you for eight seconds now i think this got buffed i'm not 100 percent sure but people are probably still going to take starfall just because it's damage in an aoe slow so like it's it has a zone potential and it has it has decent damage so I really don't see people taking Shadow Stock unless you have a comp that can, unless this counters the enemy team comp, or you can use this well. Like it, it might, it might see some more play. We'll have to, we'll have to look into it. But like Tirana is already a very low damage he hero, so like having giving up Starfall gives up even more damage on her. I, so I really think people will still stick with Starfall. Now level thirteen. So this is where Lunar Blaze used to be. And that was like the go-to almost every all the time, right? So, let's see. If they moved the Hunter's Fury here, but this is never. This is horrible. Don't ever worry about this. Um, Overflowing Light. They actually they nerfed the 
heal. It used to be 40%, now it's 35%. But it instead of, like, I think it was, like, 90% or something really high that you had to be above, now it's 50%. So, like, you can almost use it all the time, which is really nice. But, honestly, the fact that you do not have Bolt anymore, which was taken off your level 20, I think, you, I think Sprint's the must-go-to in this tier because not having Sprint late game will cost you games because people... Like, just not having Sprint will allow people to train the living shit out of you, and you do not want that to be a possibility. So, stick with Sprint in this tier. Like, I would go Sprint every game on this hero, like, honestly. Like, maybe, maybe in a double healer comp, or a comp that has, like, I don't know, just off the top of my head, just throwing out random stuff, like, an Uther with uh, his Protect, his Divine Shield or something. I don't know, maybe that'd be viable, but... I'm suggesting that you take Sprint almost every single game. 16. Ooh, my bad. 16. See, this, okay, this is really... This is really, uh... This is, a uh, Ranger's obviously not going to be taken because you're not doing Outbuild anymore, so this is not an option anymore. This is... Mark of Mending is... Like, this talent makes no sense. It's pretty trash, right? So, Shooting Star and True Shot R are pretty much your only two options right here. So, Shooting Star is, of course, it makes your E do 50% more damage, which eventually will make it do 300% more damage if you have, or... It'll make it do the damage of three stuns if you have the rewind later, so... Shooting Star is still, it's usually my go-to, unless my team... Unless my team, like, has a lot of people that can benefit off True Shot Aura, then I'd probably get True Shot Aura. Like, you need to look at your team comp and then see, like, what what do I have? Like, like if I have a Jaina, like, say, for instance, I have, just off the top of my head, I have Jaina and I have some other spellcaster, um, Asmodin, right? Something like that. There's no reason to get True Shot Aura. But if I had, say, a Zagara and I had... Like, if I had Zagara Vala, or I had um, Sergeant Hammer and Illidan, you know, these are people that can benefit from the 15% attack damage. So you have to think about what will be more beneficial to your team. So Shooting Star will make you do more damage, and the mana, the mana is, the mana refund's nice, but honestly it doesn't really matter too much. It's for the damage, right? So you need to think, is, is the 50% extra damage going to help me win the team fight more? than the 15% basic attack damage for my team. Because it's for everyone on your team, not just you. So that's what you got to think about. And then level 20. Um, there's no bolt anymore, so you get rewind every time. There's no... This is fucking trash. Like, don't ever... this do, Like, 30% on... Starfall doesn't do much damage, so adding 30% is just not even worth, really. If they made, if they made like, Starfall... Instead of, like, instead of being cast go blow, globally... What they should do for Starfall is make it, like, have a 90% slow and then deal 30% more damage, right? Something like that might be might be very viable taking, but the way it is now, there's just no reason to ever take this. Unless, unless like, you're dead and you leveled up at level 20 and your team's pushing and ending the game and your Starfall can kill the core. Some stupid shit like that. This is pretty, you will get this almost never, unless you're just fucking around, okay? So, don't think about getting this in serious games. Hunter's Mark, this is actually really strong. It gives everyone, like, it gives everyone 25% uh, movement speed uh, while you ult, which is, like, really strong. And it gives everyone, uh, uh you get a Sheen proc, which is 100% extra damage crit. So, this is... I think it's nice, but honestly, Rewind is so strong on her that I just don't think there's any other option, honestly. She's not an auto-attacker. Don't ever get that. Storm Shield? Eh. I mean, you can get Storm Shield, but honestly, I don't really... The way that I play Tyrande, I would never go Storm Shield. Like, I play her... I play her to stun people and to, to put my D on them. That's pretty much all that I play her for. And I wouldn't... I don't play her to do more AoE shielding, so... I would get rewind 100% of the time. So, let's get let's go through the build again. Like the standard build, honestly, is I'll, I'll just tell you what I've been going most games now. So, Ranger's Mark level one, Healing Word level four, Lunar Blaze level seven, Starfall level ten, Sprint at level thirteen, Shooting Star at level sixteen, and Rewind at level twenty. And that is it for Taronda. 
I'm going to do Uther next, so be on the lookout for that. Uther just got changed, and he is one of my most played heroes, so Dev will be excited to talk about his new changes. So That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Be on the lookout. Subscribe to my YouTube if you want to see more videos. Peace, guys.